Now if you've seen the renegade arsenal that you get from the DLC, it's pretty much redundant on landing. Well, that's not the case as people have found out. Now, these weapons can be upgraded and they do have a low range, but if you re-roll them, they can roll upwards of 360. 375 will actually net you over 100k with an end result. But it is going to be pure RNG. Now why is this assault rifle so good? Well for one it comes with the bone shrapnel mod which basically means that it inflicts bleed every second. This is an amazing weapon. Yes it has one mod but you can increase the rarity as you go along and at that point when you increase the rarity it will allow you to have two mods and because bone shrapnel is such a good mod it means the second mod opens up for you to replace it with anything you want. Now how do you exactly do this? farm. Essentially, the best place to do it is once you get to the end game because you'll have access to Zahedi as well and you will need him. What you need to do is go pick up the assault rifle from the actual stash. From here, go to an expedition, get in and then just instantly wipe. Just wipe as soon as you can, abandon the encounter and from here, what you want to do is go to Zahedi. Now when you go to Zahedi, you want to switch the variant of this weapon. Once you switch the variant, it will re-roll the damage number. If you don't re-roll 360 or above, it's essentially no good. It's going to roll somewhere in the region of around, you know, 60, 70 K and you don't want that. 360 plus will give you the 90 K damage plus. If you do manage to get that, great. If you don't, what you need to do from here is pretty much click on the options button or escape if you're on the keyboard, go to return to lobby, and then, and then click on continue to redo the process. Now, if you try and go back to the stash without re-logging, you will notice that there's a padlock on top of the actual inbox items. It's completely locked out, you can't access it. This is why we do the re-logging in order to gain access to that inbox and retake the same weapon again, and you will just rinse and repeat this. My advice is to pretty much do this until your inventory is full because the RNG isn't pleasant. Of course, someone I know already got it on his first try, they got 363. I'm on my 50th or 60th try and the best I could do is 342 but it is a good and simple farm and it is probably the most efficient way to get a weapon that you can take up there. Now of course then comes the whole notion of how do you get rid of these items. Now all you need to do is essentially create a second character, play up to the point where you gain access to the stash. Once you've got access to this, simply with that character, go in, take the items out and delete that character. That is all there is to it. So now we come onto the topic of resources. Up until level 50, you can level this weapon up all the way from level 10 to 50 with the use of using only iron. There is no pods required or titanium. It only requires iron. This is because it's a blue. Once you get to level 50, then you can upgrade it as a one-time cost to a epic and then pay whatever is required at that point, but it will definitely be a lot cheaper. Based on cost that I've already seen, it's roughly about 25 to 30,000 iron to get you from level 10 to level 50. It's a lot cheaper than having to pay all those pods in order to get it up there. So do not upgrade this to Epic until you are at that level 50. Or if you feel that you really need it, then at that point when you're at 48, 49, you can do that and then upgrade it as you go along when you have the resources. But if you upgrade it as a blue from level 10 to 50, it is going to cost you around 30,000 iron, which is extremely cheap for taking a weapon of this caliber all the way up there. This is the fastest and most efficient way of getting a assault rifle this good and this powerful 90k plus so head out there and give it a try and let me know in the comment section how you get along thanks so much for watching thanks to my patreons and my youtube members for your continued support like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and i will see you next time stay safe and remain legend Thanks so much for watching my video. If you look over to the left, you'll find a video that I'm recommending to you that I think you might actually enjoy. On the right, you'll see a video that is recommended by YouTube. I really do hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one, remember to always remain legend.